In today's video, we're checking out the new X Mighty Space wireless stereo modeling amplifier. While the new X Mighty Space has 54 IRs built in Bluetooth connectivity, a built in rechargeable battery drums and loops and all of the bells and whistles that come with a digital modeling amplifier, it has something that I consider to be amazing on the back. Look at this, we get a dedicated powered speaker out. So rather than just relying on the built-in speakers, which do cap out at certain volumes, you can run it into a much larger cabinet, whether that's a single 12 or two by 12, it doesn't matter. And I'm gonna be running it into what I consider to be an average speaker, the Celestian 7080. And I was able to get really great tones that were very reminiscent of the actual amplifiers. I'm going to show you that in this video. Thanks to the lithium ion battery, we get up to seven hours of use time on a single charge, or we can power it indefinitely thanks to the included power supply. I love the fact they've included a transmitter so we can play wirelessly. And if you don't want to use this or if the battery's flat, like it will be in this video coming up, <laughs> you can also use a standard guitar cable. I love the fact that Newx have also provided us with a good quality foot switch. This is metal, it's not cheap plastic or anything like that. It's the real deal. A massive thank you to Newx for sending this out for the review. I really appreciate it. If you wanna check it out, I'll link it down below. I hope you like this video. Let us know what you think of the tones using this as a dedicated amplifier head. Let's get into it. So this video is going to be a bit different to all of the other videos. I'm just going to run the new X Mighty Space through an external speaker box because this is the star of the show in my opinion. You can of course just use it as a practice amp, but this just sounds so good and it sounds legit. So we're going to start with the deluxe reverb. I'm running it through the Artist Tweetone 20 cabinet, which has a Celestian 7080 speaker. I have it mic'd up with an M3 from Rode and an AEA N22 ribbon microphone. This is the Deluxe Reverb preset. Have a listen to how convincing this is. I've owned a Deluxe Reverb. It feels great under the fingers and so does this. Let's turn on some overdrive thanks to a Tube Screamer. Yeah. All right. Now, if you want to add some delay, you could go ahead and do that as well. I've dialed in this analog delay. We'll turn it on. 
This is just great if you wanna do like a lead solo thing or whatever the case may be. <laughs> I could play that all day. That sounds awesome to my ear. Let us know what you think. Let's try a high gain tone now. This one's called High Wire, made off a high watt amp. And I love the sound of this. I've dialed it into what works best for this neck pickup and this speaker cabinet. Let's have a listen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Over to class A30, which is based on a Vox with a gain control, so probably the top boost channel circuit. Let's have a listen to this. <laughs> Up next is the first of the higher gain tones that I'll showcase. This is the Plexi 100 based off a Marshall amplifier. We'll add some digital delays we get going, but it's currently off. Here we go. <laughs> Pretty loud, that would be loud enough for small gigs without question. Up next is one of my favorite versatile high gain tones and this is the Brit 800. It's based off another classic Marshall amplifier. I've reviewed quite a number of pedals that have this particular sound and this does it extremely well. Now, this amp is inherently a little bit bright so just keep that in mind. <laughs> feels great to play, it really does. And lastly, over to SLO100, which is based off a Soldano amplifier. The great thing about this one is if you turn down, it cleans up pretty well. Then when you turn up, you get a nice big lead tone. I've also added some Hall reverb. Let's have a listen. My tone control down on the bridge pickup there then I just opened it back up towards the end so there you go plenty of different tones in this amp and there's plenty more to choose from than what I've showcased in this video thanks for watching folks my name's Shane I'm going to wrap this video up by talking about the pros and cons of this new X Mighty Space amplifier now if you know the channel I'm a big fan of some of their much smaller practice amplifiers I think they sound great considering the size this takes it to the next level it is more expensive and I'll link it down below if you want to check it out in your part of the world the Fender tones, the Marshall tones, all of that sounded so good coming out of a 12 inch speaker, even with a small cab. So there's lots to like about this. You could play at lower volumes and get a good tone with the onboard speaker, or even if you're jamming with friends, the 30 watts or so that it pushes into 
a 12 inch speaker is plenty loud. It was really loud in the room here. It was easily as loud as some of the small gigs that I would do. So this packs a punch and you don't have to have it cranked, but it's always better turning the guitar up, right? That's the way I look at it. But this option to go out into an extension cabinet is an absolute no brainer. It basically turns this into a dedicated head or a dedicated practice solution. There's so much functionality included in this, including a looper, a drum machine, so many different effects and things you can do with it that I didn't even touch on, but I was more concerned about what kind of tones I could get using this great feature going out into a much larger speaker. And I think it sounded great. I'd love to hear your feedback in the comment section. If you wanna check it out, I'll link it down below. Thanks again, catch you soon, see ya.